Keep your heads lifted up, family. Our redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. The bread of life. And it's John 13, 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. And I love you, family, in Jesus Christ forever. In all glory and credit and recognition and praise and honor to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Our brother Daniel sent this picture to me that he made earlier. And he told me that he watched this video on Rapture Watchers 777. And he said that the eclipse comes back through these cities called Nineveh. And he made this picture with six cities that it goes through. So I watched the Rapture Watchers video. And he said that somebody was talking about it in the comments. Anyways, as soon as this was brought to my attention, the first thing I thought of was Jonah and the 40-day warning for Nineveh. And God told Jonah, arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. And most of you know the true story. But if you don't, Jonah is only four chapters. Go study it, eat it, meditate on it, pray about it. But most of you know Jonah was disobedient and didn't do what the Lord said. So he was swallowed by a fish. And then the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. And then eventually, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. And to break it down real quick, Jonah was disobedient, but eventually he did what God said and went and warned Nineveh to repent that they had forty days. So after our brother emailed me this picture that he made, I searched how many places in America are called Nineveh, and it's right here on geotarget.com. There are seven places named Nineveh in America, and the map's right there. And when you click on each location, it shows you the city. This one's Texas, Nineveh. So I threw the great American solar eclipses into Photoshop and layered it with the map so I could make it as accurate as possible for you. And here are the seven cities that the eclipse comes back through called Nineveh, Nineveh, Texas, Nineveh, Missouri, Nineveh, Indiana, Nineveh, Ohio, Nineveh, Pennsylvania, Nineveh, Virginia, and Nineveh, New York. And right after Daniel brought this to my attention, Jesus Christ brought to my attention that there's exactly 40 days in between the eclipse on 4 8 2024 and May 19th, 2024, Pentecost. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. I shared this with our brother Ronnie. And while I was recording this video, he texted me this. And it's Rehoaboth. And it's right there next to the eclipse on 4 8. And here's why that's so gigantinormous. Because when you go to Genesis 10, 11, Rehoboth is in the same verse as Nineveh. Out of that land went forth the Shur and builded Nineveh and the city Rehoboth. And I've looked up Jonah before in Stellarium, but no astronomer has named any asteroid, minor planet, star that they have discovered Jonah. But here's what is there. And it's Jonah. Like Jonah and Nineveh combined, and it's right there underneath what they call Jupiter and what they call this devil horned comet, Pons Brooks, which is right underneath what they call Ares, what they call the god of war, this false god. And right above that is Lucifer, I showed you in the last video. Well, here's why that's so gigantinormous, all glory to our Father, right here on the times of Israel, the slaughter of the Jews of Jonaba. And when you look down, you can see that this happened 
right before Israel became a nation in 1948, from 1946 to 48. And you already know, 40 days is all over the Bible. It represents 40 days of purification. Like when Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ, she traveled for 40 days to the pool to be purified. It rained, Noah's Ark, 40 days, 40 nights. We are in the last days of tribulation before the seven years of tribulation starts, the end. And when this happens, the wandering stars that they call planets are all lined up and end date is in that lineup, family. And so is church. And so is messenger. Like Jonah. He was the messenger. And groom is right below the eclipse, family. We are going home very quickly. Because Jesus Christ said the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And right above the eclipse is paradise. And that's where we're headed. To our Father's house. So do not quench the spirit. I showed you spirits right there. All glory to our Father. And if you have the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the grave, he will quicken your mortal body and give you life. And I just felt the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. These are the signs. We are approaching our departure. And you already know, this article came out Tuesday. Russia and China warn against cycle of retaliation as Biden threatens to target their ally, Iran, after a drone attack killed three U.S. soldiers. Well, Russia is right there, almost in the eclipse. It's so close. And China is there too, family. And there's a lot more. And if we're still here, God willing, I'll show you. And Swassman Walkman is right there, which means water watchman. 